Hey everybody, this is just a quick video for um, on the behalf of the animals that are dying on the East Coast, uh, namely the dolphins. And I just watched a, uh, a newscast about this on uh, RT, and supposedly the uh, dolphins are beaching themselves in record numbers. And uh, I was reading the comments section on the video, and people had all kinds of theories about, you know, it was radiation, accumulated bioradiation, or it was, uh, you know, uh, poisoning, it was oil, lots of different ideas. But, uh, you know, a lot of the times this isn't just with, with dolphins, this is with whales, and it's been happening with birds, you know, large groups beaching themselves or falling out of the sky. And it seems like no one's addressing the magnetic issue. And the Earth's magnetic field has been going through some changes lately, and I'm sure that there may develop pockets where, um, where it affects animals at a strong rate. Like, uh, the animals, the animal kingdom still utilizes their, um, well, uh, they use uh, what is uh, magnetite. It's a uh, you know in their in their minds like we have it in our uh, pineal gland as well. And perhaps humans utilized that at one time, and perhaps we still can for um, gaining our bearing, knowing where we're at, that kind of stuff. Now animals know true north. They know where they're going, but we think you know I know birds and and birds, dolphins, animals, all all different animals see in different ways. We know that, and we know that some animals see in the infrared spectrum. And some animals perhaps see the magnetic fields. They're starting to think that, that geese may actually literally see the magnetic fields of the Earth as they travel. And this would explain how they can always follow their path home. Um, I don't know if they'd physically see it. It may be more of a sense. We just don't understand. We can't, you know, think like an animal. So, well, we do a pretty good job at it, but uh, not a specific animal like that. Um, so I was wondering, anyone who lives on the East Coast that knows more about this, you know, because there, there haven't been any cases where they're not finding, you know, these birds don't tend to have, birds and animals don't have radiation, they don't tend to have poisons, they don't have any marks on their bodies a lot of the time, and uh, it leads one to wonder whether or not they are having some sort of a magnetic disturbance that's causing them to, I guess, uh, beach themselves or fall from the sky. And this wouldn't answer the question as to how the birds actually die unless it's such a such a disturbance that it affects their brains so adversely that they just have an aneurysm or an embolism or whatever and uh, die. I, not an embolism, that's what, that's air, right? Um, <clears throat> I don't know, but it's, it's, it's a concept that I'm, I'm curious about. And I know a lot of people think that the birds falling out of the sky is from harp. And I'm not disputing that. I'm not even, I, I'm not on that page because I don't, I don't know. But uh, whatever it may be, it may be EMF and it may be the magnetic fields of the earth. So um, if anyone else has any more information on that or uh, any confirmation or, or ideas of their own, let's talk about it. Peace.